Hey guys, Sean here from Insights, and I'm coming to you from my hands-on training and one-on-one -on -one mentoring center here in the beautiful Berkshires. If you like skiing, now is a good time to be up here because all the slopes have snow on them. But in any case, in today's video, I'm going to share a lesson from my new courses. This lesson covers how to get started with Factory I.O., like how to use the user interface. And if you're interested, after the video, I will actually share how you can save 10, 20, even 100% off the course of this course. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the lesson. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at using Factory I.O. for the very first time. From here, we're going to go to Scenes. And we're going to go ahead and choose this very first one. Now, these are not listed here in order of simplest to complex, at least in my opinion, they're not. So in any case, let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the first scene. This is number one dash from A to B. I'll go ahead and select that. And now we can see the default view here of factory IO. And some of the things you're going to notice here is, um, first of all, I'm going to turn off this panel. We're not going to be modifying this scene and adding new products to it. So let me turn off this panel here. You can see that's the palette window. And these other two selections here, one is for actuators or outputs like motors. And then one is for sensors or inputs back to the PLC. And so they're both on by default. And I will typically leave those on. You can see them here. And you'll see they change color. If they're on, you can see it's yellow. If they're off, you can see they're white. Now, I'm using the default orbit camera. And to move around, what I typically do is right click on my mouse. You can see there that dot indicates the center of my view. And I can orbit around that point and kind of see the whole 3D world. And you can see this is a big factory. You could add lots of machines in here if you wanted to. But in any case, uh, I find it very intuitive and easy to use. Now, what if you want to move that orbit point? Well, you can either use your arrow keys. Let me do back, forward, left, right. Or you could use WASD. So any of you out there who've ever played a video game on your computer, you're probably very familiar with WSAD. And I find this very intuitive. Now, you can also use your mouse wheel to scroll out and scroll in. So I think this particular camera, the Orbit camera, is very intuitive especially when you have push button panels that you have to interact with. But there are two others. We have the fly camera and we also have the first person camera. Please feel free to try those out and see if you like those better. Now at this point, I want to talk a little bit more about the tags here. So let me uh, adjust my camera. I'll zoom in a little bit here. And what we can see there is the conveyor and sensor tags, right? If we, uh, we can turn them off and on using these two buttons here. And what I want to show you is how you can also view those. So I'm going to view dock all tags and you can see them here. Okay. And there's a couple of things you can do from this panel. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And this is what they call a stackable box. You'll hear me call it a bin, but this is on the conveyor and we want to turn the conveyor motor on to make it go down the conveyor. So to do this, we're going to hit play. This will put factory IO into run mode which I like to call simulation mode. So it enables the simulation. So we'll go ahead and do that. You can see the box fell down a little bit. It was hovering in the air. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to force this on. You can see the conveyor has changed color, that tag right there. And you can see it's moving down. The sensor will go off when it blocks the beam, but it comes right back on as soon as the bin falls off the edge of the conveyor. Now, it's still forced here. Let me go ahead and reset the simulation. And here you can see the bin is placed back on the conveyor. And because I have the conveyor forced, it continues down the conveyor. So let me go ahead and reset it again. But this time I'm going to try to stop the force when the bin is in front of the photo eye. Okay. So we can see here that the sensor has turned off because the box is blocking the beam of the photo eye. And with that, that's the basics of getting around inside of Factory I.O. Now, if you have any questions on this lesson, please post them below in the lesson discussion area. Well, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. And if you'd like to learn more about these courses, I'll put links to them in the description. 
And if you want to save five dollars, just send me an email over at sales at the automation school.com. That comes directly to me, and I'll send you back five dollars off. And if you're a member, I'll even add the cost of your membership for the month of March to this coupon I send you. So it could be five, ten, or twenty-five dollars off plus the $5 I'm offering everybody. So you just have to let me know what platform you're a member on and what level you're on. And I'll send you a coupon that's $5 plus your monthly membership. It's part of what I want to do for you guys every month and appreciation for you guys being members. So you can actually pick up one of these courses for absolutely no charge. And uh, even though I have to charge more for the Control Logix, Compact Logix, Factory Talk, Echo One, because, you know, the software's not free, right? Um, I am offering it as a free bonus to anybody who buys a perpetual license for Factorio from me at theautomationschool.com. Now, I've been a uh, authorized reseller for Factorio for many years, sold many licenses. But when I started filming these courses, I'm like, you know what? If somebody's going to buy a perpetual license, they don't want to just spend the $18 a month. They want to spend the $450 or whatever it is to get a, a lifetime license. Then uh, I'm just going to throw in my cost at no charge. Now, we do sell the license at the same price they do at factoryio.com. The only difference is theirs is in euros, so you have to do the conversion. But in any case, I just wanted to pack in a free cost for anybody who buys the license from us. And with that, I just want to wish you guys a great week. I want to wish you all good health and happiness. And until next time, my friends.